All right, welcome back to Sherlock Holmes Crimes and Punishments. My name is Ed. We've talked to uh, Lady Bracknell and her maid that I think uh, they teamed up to kill her husband because he was uh, drunk and uh, hitting her. And now I'm going to go talk with Watson and investigate the body. You should examine the body of Sir Eustace Brackenstall. So, Watson, what have you learned from examining Sir Eustace's body? Well, I can confirm that the death was instant. Sir Eustace was facing his attacker when he received the blow to his head. There are no other apparent injuries. So he knew his attacker. They hit him from... He was talking to them. A trapper's hut. He was a hunter. A hunter's cabin. A hunting scene. <laughs> yeah, I get it. He was a hunter. A trapper's hut. Antique hunting weapons. A decanter standing next to the open bottle. An inseparable pair indeed. Chateau Calon Ségur. French wine. Grand Cru. This glass has some wine traces, but no visible beeswing. I don't know what beeswing is. This glass has some wine traces, but no visible beeswing. Okay, the fact that I could turn these means that I'm going to find something on one of these glasses, right? There is beeswing at the bottom. As if the wine had not been decanted before being poured. Ah. It is rather strange that only one of these glasses has dregs of bees' wing inside it, while the other two are clear. All right, I'm not really sure what a decanter does and what difference that makes, so I'm not quite sure how to put those clues together. Does that mean that the third glass of wine was uh, served at haste? Oop. Yes. Mantelpiece. Okay. Cut bell rope. It appears that the bell rope was cut by someone taller than me. Hmm. Interessante. A fur trader's cabin. I have to investigate every picture. A hunter scene. I think he liked to hunt. That's what they're subtly hinting at here. A fur trader's cabin. A deer hunt. The Brackenstall family appear to be preoccupied with hunting. Took you that long the to figure that out? Scene. A Thomas Kincaid pond. The hunting scene. We got commotion here. This candlestick is valuable. It is interesting that it was not also stolen. An empty silverware box. It appears that the intruders have stolen the contents. No, they didn't. They're hidden. These wine bottles are expensive and mostly from France. Okay, there's something else here they want me to look at. Otherwise it would go away. Like, I would think that this broken... These broken plates would be a clue, right? Because usually when you're done investigating... Well, let's go back and look. And if it's green, then I... Nope. I missed something. Candlestick. Bottle, bottle, bottle. Missing bottle. Okay. A bottle of wine is missing here. There we the go. The criminals did not thoroughly ransack the house. They only took a little silverware. No comments on that hunting picture, Sherlock? What is this here? Oh. 
Shaft of light. Hmm. Alrighty. Now let's examine the body. I think we've examined everything else. Quite a large stick. A formidable weapon. Barefoot. He had therefore been in bed and did not have time to fully dress. That must be the murder weapon. The head was cracked with the force of the blow. All right, we're missing something. Hmm. It is covered in blood. Sir Eustace might have struck his head upon it while falling from the blow. That is one possible explanation. All right, we haven't fully examined this room yet. The death was instant. If I open this, will it... I don't want to go outside yet. I want to fully examine this room. So it'll say, you have examined this entire place, Edward. You did a great job. Sailor's knot. That's interesting. Hmm. This rope was handled by the murderers. We need a scent hound to follow their trail. I will take it with me. Interesting. Go find Toby. Is that our little uh, scoundrel friend who lives outside our window? This is the chair that Lady Brackenstall was tied to. There, we've completed that investigation. All right, Watson, I'm going to go outside real quick. Hopefully it doesn't take me to a cutscene. See if the doors were locked out here. Oh, hello. Okay. I don't want to go in yet. If I can see inside. out here. Oh, a little hidden chateau, eh? Okay, let's take a lap around here first. Let's get some exercise, Sherlock, before we dig around the chateau. Nothing with the well? Really? Hmm. Alright. Just a little added detail from the game makers. Well done. Check this out in here. See what he was up to out here. What? Oh, come on, let me in. Seriously, you guys? Okay, this is here. This isn't here without a reason, right? We're eventually going to be able to go in there. Can I investigate the cricket? All right, let's go in here. Talk to the girls again. Hey, Lestrade. What's on this paper? Nothing? Okay. Let's see if they're going to give me... Hi. We're gonna see if they'll give me any extra info. Please leave my Mary alone. Oh. There are three glasses on the dining room table. I was wondering if... Oh, I forgot. When I came to myself the first time, each of them had a glass in his hand. They might have been a father and his two sons. They talked together in whispers, and then they left. Your ladyship... What? No, it was you two chicks and the, your little sailor friend. Don't try to lie to me. 
All righty. Let's see. Dead body. Bent poker. Look at that. Nailing these. Easy. Okay. Then we've got... Glass with B-swing and two glasses. There were three people drinking wine out of these glasses. One of the three probably prefers wine with B-swing. I don't know what B-swing is. Two people drinking wine out of these glasses. The remaining glass with the B-swing consisted solely of the dregs from the other two glasses. What? No. I don't even know what that means, but that sounds dumb. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. More clues. More clues. Let's see. Fireplace, grate, and dead body. The death of Sir Eustace could have been due to his accidentally striking his head on a fireplace grate. No, the death of Sir Eustace could have been due to a poker blow. Yeah, definitely. And let's see, we got... Nah, nothing yet. Alrighty, so we gotta go talk to uh, someone. It said. So we gotta oh, test the rope. And a medical report states Sir Eustace endured poor health and a nervous disorder. So why did we not ask the wife about that? So let's go uh, investigate the murder. Collect Toby from Baker Street and follow the scent trails. We haven't finished investigating the murder here. So there's someone that we should be talking to. Oh, what a horrible Not her. thing. Please leave Not my her. Baby alone. Let's go talk to uh, Lestrade. And uh, see what he has to say. Oh, maybe. What do you know about Sir Eustace, Inspector? What was his reputation? A charming man went sober but an absolute demon when he was drunk. In such moments, he was apparently capable of anything. Why, once he splashed fuel on Lady Brackenstall's dog and set it alight. Another day, he threw a decanter of wine at Miss Wright's head. Hmm, the alcohol seemed to madden him. To the point that we were forced to intervene several times to avoid a scandal. Inspector's tale and violent behavior. Those definitely go together. Okay. I don't think these two go together. No. Okay. So have we uh, finished investigating? Nope. Hey. What are you guys not telling thing. me? Please leave my Mary alone. She suffered so much, she deserves some rest. I'm missing something. What am I missing? Hey, how come you guys only have uh, two rooms in your house? Is that suspicious to no one? Okay, do I have to go and examine the rope? And then that'll, uh, be the end of the examination. That's done. Oh, this yeah, what's this door? This door leads to the upstairs bedrooms. Apparently the criminals oh. did not venture there. Oh, well. How about all this? I'm not going to investigate that, Holmes? Seriously? Alrighty, let's go uh, talk to uh, Toby. Alrighty. Maybe that'll get the investigation taken care of. Alright, we'll see you guys next time. We're going to talk with Toby. See what uh, he can help us out with. Alright, we'll see you then. Bye-bye.